makes MIT special? For me, I'd probably have to say the environment. So being constantly challenged and you know definitely helps you grow, both in an academic setting, but as well as personal growth. But at MIT, it just feels different. There's just so, there's really so much belief in what you can achieve. And I think that's just the biggest thing. It makes you feel like you can do way more than you ever thought you actually could. Uh, you know, so many different labs and workshops, places for students to really get involved in project teams and anything they're interested in. At MIT, they truly want to be something else. They want to grow, they want to do some incredible things in industries and the things that they really like, love and everything that they care about. Hi everyone, it's Cajun My Tech Guy here. As you can see in Boston, it has been snowing. The temperature has dropped pretty quickly, but it, it honestly looks pretty nice outside. And for a little bit, the snow does look pretty. In this video, I'm going to throw it back to the original Day in the Life videos, and I'm just going to go about my day as usual. And also throughout the video, different people and hopefully professors will be talking about why they think MIT is so special. So make sure you stay around for the whole video, and let's get right into it. Having a good, good time This morning I was going to for sure take the shuttle because it is freezing and walking across that bridge is terrible because of all the wind chill that happens. Um, right now I'm going to head to my first class which is Principles of Autonomy and Decision Making. This is always an interesting class but they're also really tough conceptually so I'm going to try to stay atten pay attention. So casually keep diving into concrete So bittersweet Before I get into the rest of the video, I wanted to quickly talk about Goodwall, which is a channel sponsor of mine that makes videos like this possible. Goodwall is a platform and community that already has a network of over a million students. It's an app that helps you connect with other driven students and professionals. It has helped students connect with representatives from their dream colleges, internships, and full-time jobs. Goodwall allows you to build a profile where you can show off all of your accomplishments and upload your college resume. It's basically your personal website. I love just being able to scroll through my customized feed with like-minded individuals that share some of my interests and goals. I also really love how easy it is to continue to make your feed more accurate to your taste by searching and following various interests, people, companies, and universities. It's an app that doesn't have any clutter and even allows you to search and apply to handpicked jobs and scholarships that fit you best. With Goodwall, you can post any achievement, idea, or project as a regular post or 30 second video. You can receive feedback on it from the Goodwall team, experts, as well as other regular members. Use the keyword KJ when posting and I'll make sure to comment on some of the posts I love and feature them in an upcoming video. Downloading Goodwall is extremely easy, free, and it works great on both Androids and iPhones. Just use the link down below to download the app. And remember to follow my profile, KJ Hardrick, and post using the keyword KJ so I can comment on your achievements. Okay, so that class was pretty interesting. We learned about convex functions and how programming with convex functions in mind and making functions convex will make like a path planning problem a lot easier to understand and a lot easier to implement because we have to optimize functions and the best way to optimize is with convexity. So I just got finished with 1806, which was linear algebra and today we were trying to tie in statistics and probability into some of the other knowledge we already knew from the from the rest of the semester. Um, we're tending towards the last couple of lectures, so we're just trying to tie everything together at this point. Right now I'm pretty hungry, so I'm gonna head over to Dunkin' Donuts because I need to do a reading right now, and I'm gonna eat while I do that. For me, I'd probably have to say the environment. So being constantly challenged and, you know, pushed to 
like new levels definitely helps you grow uh, you know both in an academic setting but as well as just personal growth uh, and so I definitely think that's made me a much harder worker than I was before and it's probably set me up for uh, success in you know internships um, as well as classes and like moving on to like future career goals so definitely the um, thing that makes MIT the most special is the environment. So we just got out of 1441, which was public finance and policy. Today we learned a lot about corporations and how they're taxed. Mm -hmm. I'm here with Johan. Hi. Yeah, and now I'm heading to my next class, which is STS-004, Intersections of Science, Technology, and the World. And yeah, this is an interesting class, but it also takes a lot of time. I enjoy it though, because we learn so much like for our own personal lives, I feel, regarding like business and like how we should deal with taxes and like all of this decisions made like by uh, the governments and everything. I really like it. Yeah, it's very applicable. Yeah. At MIT, they truly want to be something else. They want to grow, they want to do some incredible things in the industries and the things that they really like, love and everything that they care about. And so when you're surrounded by people that all want to work together to be something better, um, it's really inspiring because you get to go through like very hardships through this place with incredibly powerful it's smart and like loving people and I really love like, like every like all the four years that I've been here it's been great because of the amazing people I've met <laughs> So we just got out of STS-004, um, the whole class revolved around food. I'm here with Sam. So it turns out food is actually way more complex than we thought. Um, you know, in this unit we've been researching and studying the origins of processed food and origins of American cuisine and it, its evolution over the past 50 years. And Yeah, it's pretty interesting because you might think we just study rocket equations all day, but yeah, we just had a whole lecture on just talking about food. What I think is so unique and special about MIT is the opportunity for, for really exploration in any field that you're interested in. We have so many, you know, such a broad you know, variety of fields of study and professors and labs and, and within each field there's so much, uh, you know, so many different labs and workshops, places for students to really get involved in project teams and anything they're interested in. And I really think that the synergy of the mind and hand, men's and manis, that, that they preach to us when we come in that you know, talk about the, the motto, mind and hand. Uh, really serves to extend our skills we learn in the classroom to, you know, other things we might be interested in doing hands-on projects and learning that way. Getting, giving us the resources we need with monetary resources, time, and, and lab space. They've really, you know, stretched our, our horizon to be almost, you know, infinity. So right now I just linked up with Sebastian and like always we're going to go hit the gym right now to get a quick workout in before dinner and yeah, should be good. Man, you could say I had a plan way before I had a fan Some would probably call it luck, I just call it being blessed You ain't never did the work, but you want to be the best Lately I could never stress, never better, better yet Might have had a thing for you, she know I'm the better bet I digress, I let it rest Go and get another check I could always see my future I bet they could never guess Guess and they get it Cause look at me now And then look at yourself in the mirror I know they doubted my thesis But they doubted Jesus And right now I'm making it clear Clearly these people don't know where they going And lately I feel like the man with the map I got this So Sebastian and I just had a really great workout And we had pretty low energy throughout the day But I think that really helped And right now we're gonna head back to the house We're gonna hop on the shuttle Cause again it's just too cold And yeah Gonna go eat dinner Felt like a liar And I cannot lie to my soul I know the truth universe so, so don't let me tell you, I know that a lot of you know Spilling pieces of a poet, don't you know that I'm the real thing, baby And if we don't make a dollar, then I couldn't make a real change, baby Spilling pieces of a poet, don't you know that I'm the real thing So I think MIT is a really special place just because 
there's so much belief in what you can do. So every day we go to our classes and talk to professors that are at the top of their fields. We meet all these people doing really cool things and it just makes you believe in what you can do and it just makes you feel like you can do way more than you ever thought you could. Yeah, so before I was at MIT, I was at the University of Illinois and I was there for three semesters. I think it was a really great place. I made, I made great friends, I had a great time, but at MIT it just feels different. There's just so, there's really so much belief in what you can achieve. And I think that's just the biggest thing. It makes you feel like you can do way more than you ever thought you actually could. So we just got back up from dinner and yeah, um, Dinner's always a good time to catch up with everybody, see how everybody's doing, see how everybody's day's going. So I actually stayed down there a little longer than I had expected, but still it was a good time just talking to everyone. Now I'm in the room, Sebastian and I are trying to get some work done. And of course I have the Laker game playing in the background, but yeah, I am doing some work. So trying to stay productive here. And yeah, we'll see how this goes. Make a dollar, then how could it make a real change, baby? So yeah, I just got a good amount of work done. I think I'm in a good position for the rest of the week. And right now, um, Sebastian and I are gonna head to bed. We had a pretty long day, but I think it was pretty productive. We got our workout in, was able to do some work and talk to the bros. So if you haven't already, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up to date with what I'm doing. As for this channel, make sure to subscribe and have the notification bell click because I am pushing out a lot of new content that I think you all will really enjoy. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.